What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use and customize or edit the icons element or widget into the Elementor website builder WordPress plugin into the free version, okay? So, first of all, make sure that you have the Elementor WordPress plugin installed on your site. Our, um, we have made a video tutorial explaining how to install Elementor just go to your YouTube search field and search for Elementor Visual Moto so you can learn how to do this. And after this, go to our WordPress dashboard. You can go to some page that would like to apply this element on it. For example, let me imagine that I would like to apply my element into my about page, okay? Into this page right here. I would like to apply an icon element, okay? And let's check how to do it. First of all, you can click on edit with Elementor directly or you can go to this page on to the top shortcuts. You can see the edit with Elementor or open up the page, okay? It's gonna load the editor and you can click on edit with Elementor. It's gonna load up the Elementor front page. And right here, we can see where we want to apply our element. For example, let me imagine that I would like to add my element right here. Have a look at the left side of widgets that you have this sidebar right here. And right here into the free version of Elementor, you can see the icon. Okay, this is the guy that we are looking for, the icon. Go right here, drag the element and drop wherever you want. For example, if I want the icon here, you can drop right here. You can create a layout with columns and drop the icon into the first column, for example. It's up to you, okay? Choose the best option that fits on your needs. After this, we have a default icon. If I click right here, I can open up the icon library, okay? If you are a pro user, you can upload your own icons, but by default it came with the font awesome icons that have lots of fully customizable SVG icons. So no need to worry, you're gonna keep everything for free. And I would like to find the Wi-Fi icon, for example. So you can search for Wi-Fi. And here is my icon. I'm gonna click into this green button, call it insert. And here is my icon. From there, what else we can do? For example, first of all, we can edit the icon view. So, this one, or the frame, this one. We can make the icons square instead of circle. We can apply a link to this icon. For example, let's imagine that you would like to link this icon to the visualmoto.com website, okay? So, click the link right here. We can use the link options to make it new follow or open into a new window, for example, okay? Or even apply custom attributes. And of course, you can align the icons in the case that you want to the middle, to the left, or to the right. What else we can do? We have the style tab next to the content one. And the style is the place where we can, for example, change the color of the icon. We can use a secondary color for the icon. That's gonna be the background color for the icon. For example, right like this. We can increase the size of the icon, the padding, we can rotate the icon, and we can apply some widget for the borders in the case that you need, for example. And 
and the radius. Nice, right? What else we can do? We can change the hover, okay? We can apply a hover color to this icon. For example, let's make it turns white on hover. And this is what happens. Nice effect, right? We can apply some hover animation. And for now, it's this, but we also can have the advanced settings. That is the margin, the padding, the widget. And of course, we can edit the section where the icon is placed in. For example, to apply some patch, some margin to the top and separate it from the sections we can copy this and post right here we can apply some content beyond it so we can create an iphone box section just like this ones for example okay And for now, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the Borderless WordPress plugin in order to have more widgets and elements for Elementor for free or even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. And to install it, all you have to do is go to our WordPress dashboard plugins, add new and search for borderless. Click on install and activate. And you're gonna gain lots of widgets like those ones present on your Elementor page builder for free. In addition, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress theme to build up your site, your landing page, your blog or your sales page, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, Add new, search for Enzo WordPress team, it's completely free and have premium features that not even some paid teams does not offer, okay? Like advanced page search, mobile friendly code, mobile SEO friendly code, and everything for free, okay? In addition, and as a final note, say in the case that you are in need of your website up and running faster and you want almost unlimited pre-built websites that you can import of every business niche, okay? Sections, pages, layouts, premium icons, premium images, advanced, all the complete support and other advanced features, go to the visualmodel.com, purchase the Visual Model Pass and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!